to go. Now that I'm all energized with that cup of coffee, good morning, it's Coach Joe, and welcome to another episode of the Stay Fit Anywhere Lifestyle. So one of the questions I got asked uh, this week was, hey, what do you have in your home that you like to eat as a dry good so then I don't have to go grocery shopping all the time because it's home isolation. You don't wanna keep going to the grocery store every week if you don't have to. So today, give you a quick glimpse into my cupboards of what I have. That's sort of my staple dry goods that I keep around so I don't have to go to the grocery store often. And particularly, I'm talking about things more like proteins. So I'm not going to the store for meats or, or any other protein items. But first, I do have a quick errand to run. On my way out to get a replacement cartridge for, yes, the soda stream because you can't have enough fizzy water in your life. So I'm gonna head down to the local store, get a replacement cartridge, and we'll be back soon. Time to go home, pop this baby in, and have some sparkling water. Bubbles. Lately, people have been asking me what they can get for their own cupboards that are more of a, I guess, dry good type staple that they don't have to go to the grocery store every day or once a week. So I figured, why not give you a glimpse of what's actually in my cupboards to see what I have. I'm thinking I have some dry good staples that most people have that are uh, high in nutritional value. We'll see. Here we go. See what we got in here. Uh, no, not this one. This is all kids' uh, utensils. So, and some baby fruit pouches. But that's not for us. Let's get into here. All right, got some vitamins, uh, some baked goods. Ah, here we go. This, well, yeah, that too. That's some uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips. <laughs> this is an easy meal at any time, so a can of tuna is always perfect for us to make sandwiches, you know, tuna fish sandwiches, tuna fish salad, whatever. Tuna is always great if you're a fish eater, I guess. But so for us, tuna is great, high in protein, something like that uh, we can easily make. Let's put that back up. Oh, we also have some jello pudding. Not sure exactly why, because we don't eat a lot of that. And just in case you didn't know, I made a dad hack tuna fish sandwich video that you can catch at the end of this video. I know we have a lot of dry goods in this one. What do we got here? All right, we got a mini ice cream cones. That's probably not the most nutritional. We got a few uh, boxes of cereal, some crackers, some chips, pastas, rice noodles. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. We have some white beans or navy beans, some, uh, what's this, red, red split lentils, uh, some pearl barley. Perfect. Some kidney beans, red kidney beans, and we have some split peas it looks like so all the beans 
high in protein. Ah, so these beans, high in protein, high in fiber, really filling, perfect for any meals. And a great dry food staple in any pantry. And today I think it's a perfect time too to use those red beans and white beans into a makeshift, I believe, some sort of ham stew that we're going to put into a crock pot. So let's get that happening. Here's our trusty old crock pot. It's a great tool for anyone to use because one, it just saves so much time in terms of you just chuck everything right in here and turn the dial and let it cook the whole entire day. And when it's done, it's done and it smells great. Fantastic. You can throw a lot of things in all at once. And today we found uh, a frozen ham pieces in our freezer. So we th thought, hey, might as well chuck that in too. So it's only been cooking for a couple of hours, but Basically, we soaked some of the white beans, kidney beans, and threw them in this crock pot, threw a ham in there with the bone, and we're gonna cut up some veggies. I believe we're gonna add some squash and potatoes in to make it a lot more heartier and more of a complete meal. So something that's easy, it's gonna be high in protein, it's gonna taste delicious once it's all done. And I hear the little ones waking up from her nap, so it's my turn to go get her now. So I'll be right back. So I'm back with the little one. She's teething too, so it's a little cranky. But you can see, uh, you know, when you're busy, you're a parent, and you're trying to get everything done, sometimes the easiest thing to do is to find something that's in your own cupboard, like especially items like that are shelf life high in protein, high in fiber, nutritious, throw them into a crock pot, make it easy for yourself. That way you don't have the stress of trying to figure out what you're gonna make, something that's gonna be healthy, you know, or picking up fast food and then feeling like crap after that. So making it easy on yourself, that's what the Stay Fit Anywhere lifestyle is all about, is, is making it easier to live healthier and active without overwhelming yourself thinking about counting calories every single minute or carving out so much time to hit the gym. It's all about incorporating into your regular busy lifestyle. Consistent habits, consistent eating, consistent moving, and not carving out extra time when you don't got any because you'd rather be spending it with these ones, right? Yeah. So I let this bean, ham, potato squash stew soup cook up and we'll show you this end result finally the soup is all done and just look at this doesn't this look nice and hearty it's got the white beans the red kidney beans potatoes carrots squash and chunks of smoked ham can't wait to dig in this hearty meal tons of nutritional value just in this one bowl and look how easy that was throw in a crock pot have staple dry goods and you're all set so until next time you got to check out my dad hack tuna fish sandwich video now so i'm gonna let this stew soup so i'm gonna let this stew So I'm going to let this stew, soup, whatever. So I let this bean, ham, potato, squash, stew, soup cook up and we'll show you the end result.